Carter's pumping the Nerf air cannon back up. He's gonna try to shoot me with it. Oh! What's up everybody? Hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. Today we are going to do something completely epic. We are going to break our previously held world record for the world's largest Nerf gun. So, let's start with the progression. Carter, where are we at? So this is our current Nerf gun. This is our biggest Nerf cannon that we have ever made. And this is the giant Nerf dart that goes with it. Yes! But this wasn't big enough. So then, we built the world's biggest Nerf rocket launcher that shoots this giant mega rocket dart. <laughs> but you know what? This still wasn't big enough. So, we went to this. This is the new project of this huge pipe. And this is gonna be the size of the new mega dart. So this, you can see we just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Enough talking, Carter. Let's get to Home Depot. Let's do it! Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're running out of daylight. Not much daylight left. Woo. Shout out to Home Depot. We actually haven't been here for surprisingly two weeks. So, welcome back. Better grab a cart. Stop. Oh, Carter, put that away. You can't have a gun in the store. The oh my gosh. Tip number one, never go anywhere without a concealed Nerf gun. You never know when a Nerf war might just pop up. Aisle 29 is where it's at, the plumbing section. Carter pulled out all these boxes. He's laying out the PVC pipes he found. We are trying to figure out the best way to make this Nerf gun cannon. Whew. We're gonna be here for a while. If anyone is in aisle 29 right now, psh, you're in trouble because we literally took it over. I think we finally figured everything out. We kind of made quite a mess in the aisle, but we should be good to go, right Carter? We're good to go. The last thing we need is this huge four inch pipe but Hunter's gonna be so kind and get it for us. So let's see, let's see uh, how well he can grab it. Nice. All right, he's an NFL kicker. He's not quite an NFL lifter, but he's doing good. Good job, Hunt. Uh, Hunt, I'm not sure that quite fits. We're, I think our cart's gonna be stuck. We got the crew, we're ready to roll out. Uh, not sure how this pipe is gonna fit in, but uh, we'll get it in, right? Yeah. Uh, I still don't think that's safe. All right, so put it in the back. All right, hopefully that's gonna secure it, right Carter? Safer? Yeah. Is it safer? We got about 10 extra feet on the truck right now if it's sticking out. Carter, wait, if a car comes on the side of us. This way. Yeah, if a car goes on the side, that could be a, that could be an issue. We could sideswipe a car. I hope it's still in when we get home. All right, we are off. Oh, careful with that. Oh my gosh, is it gonna hit? Uh, I think we're good. Okay, we are definitely sticking out the side though. We gotta be careful. <laughs> what if it falls out as I turn this corner right now and just falls on the side of the road like Psh. Oh my gosh, you can see it sticking out the review mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're this gonna side... sideswipe a pole right now. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> that car is just looking at it. Freak a leak. Okay, we're going slow. Good news is we successfully made it home with the PVC pipes sticking out like four feet from the truck. Got all the pipes in the garage. Next step is to Fill this super heater up. Carter is filling it up with kerosene. Then we're gonna light it up and it has a jet stream that comes out like poof. Camden, that's all you get. You gotta make it in. We can't let the heat out of the garage. Nice, you made it. Good job. Ah! The key ingredient that's gonna make this Nerf cannon work is this sprinkler valve. So let's start making pieces to connect to this. The first piece is this one inch adapter that will screw into the sprinkler valve. The next piece is this one inch piece of PVC that'll connect from the first connector to this second two inch adapter. The final piece is a two to four inch adapter. Step one for the gluing process is to put the purple primer on. Keep in mind if you're doing this, this stuff smells really bad. The smell is actually so strong, we're gonna put these masks on so we don't breathe in the toxic fumes. After the primer, let's add some clear PVC cement. Stick the two pieces together and hammer it in. Let's do the next piece. And let's add the last piece. Let's hammer it in to seat the piece properly. Give it 15 minutes to fully dry. The reason we're gluing everything together is to ensure we have a tight seal and no air leaks out of the chamber. And it doesn't completely explode apart. Oh! Now that the pieces are dried, let's screw them on. Boom! This side will be our chamber, and this side will be the barrel. Oh yeah! So we're running into a slight problem. 
As you know, we had to custom order this huge six inch PVC pipe. The problem we're running into is that this adapter to go on to the six inch PVC pipe is not fitting so Carter is going to take this he's gonna slice it a little bit so we can get it and hopefully squeeze it in to fit let's see if it works if not we're out of luck good news we got the adapter into the six inch coupler to bang this down we're gonna turn the heater on warm up the PVC and then hammer it in Good news is we were able to shove the pipe in a little bit farther bad news is that we weren't able to get it in far enough so we still have a few holes on the sides and even though those holes aren't very big the air can still leak out so this could be a total fail let's glue the four inch adapter to the six inch section one of the final steps we're gluing the four inch adapter to the six inch section and the glue fumes are so strong everybody's like covered up in masks we are now one step closer to the giant nerf cannon no carter spilled all the glue now it's gonna really oh, smell in Steven, here why didn't you pick it up hopefully we have enough glue to finish this project oh no guys we ah! we ran into another huge problem so we finished doing this and two hours later we find out that on this pvc pipe it says one of the most important words not for pressure and the only thing we're putting in this pvc pipe is air aka pressure so we put the wrong pvc pipe the good news is we bought extra parts so carter is putting building a brand new pressure chamber and we have a pipe that can actually take the pressure new pressure chamber is complete let's drill a hole so we can fit the pressure valve Oh. Time to screw on the pressure valve. Adding the final primer to the pressure chamber. Let's put the end cap on and glue it into place. <clears throat> Yo, you got it, I got it. Now we just need to add the final, final touches. We just attached the air chamber to our sprinkler valve. Now, let's add the barrel adapter. Woo! Just finished up our UNOW session. We took a break while the air cannon was drying, but I think the glue is dried and we're ready to fire off. So Carter, what's the first step? Let's pump this thing up with some air. Using the air valve, let's connect the air compressor. Let's fill it up to 40 PSI. We're already at 50, let's try 50. All right, Carter's gonna test the air cannon on me. There's nothing in it, but it's just gonna be a big chunk of air coming out. Let's do this, Carter. In three, two, one. <coughs> oh! It worked a little bit. We're starting the air compressor up again. We're gonna reload it and do try number two. Next test with 80 PSI. In three. Two, one. Whoa! Ah! That was loud when it hit the pipes, but the good news is it works. That means we're one step closer to completing the Nerf air cannon. We are going to swap the big six inch adapter. Since we haven't put the barrel on that yet, let's put the four inch barrel and do some tests with this. After I test this and everything works good, we're gonna step it back up to the six inch barrel and put on the long tube and really get to work. So this time we got a container that perfectly fits in there. It's, it's like creates a tight seal. So we're gonna test it out at 40 PSI and see what happens. You ready, Carter? I'm ready, let's do it. Four, All inch, right. four inch barrel test number one in three, two, one. Ow! Woo! That was impressive, and that was only at 40 psi. We can go all the way up to 220. This is our projectile because it fits perfectly in the four-inch pipe. Let's load it in. Next test, we're at 80 psi. You ready? Let's do it, Steve. Woo! In three, two, one. Ow! Oh! Wow! 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 Oh my gosh! That was fast. 100 psi in three, two, two one. Ah! Oh gosh, that was so fast. Yikes, Carter, we gotta take this outside. We have a little bit of an error because we just broke this projectile because I think 100 PSI is a little bit too much for the four inch barrel, so let's upgrade to the six inch barrel. Even though it's dark out, we are so excited to test this that we're gonna strap this huge, long, eight foot, six inch pipe onto our air chamber. We're going to fire a Nerf dart out of it and see what happens. All right, guys. Oh my Let's gosh. Let's connect the huge barrel to the six inch adapter. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Oh my gosh, it's so long. This might be the world's longest Nerf gun cannon. It is so long and look at the little chamber that shoots it. So small yet so big and long right there. This is crazy. Carter, let's test it. Let's use this as our first test. Oh my gosh, this is sick. 
This thing is huge. Carter is setting up a target. We'll see if it hits it. The Nerf dart is somewhere in that long pipe, somewhere in there. Should shoot out, hopefully hit that over. And yeah, let's go ahead and load it up with pressure. Let's fill it to 100 PSI. Whoa, okay. 90 PSI. Almost there. 100 PSI. 100 PSI, we are ready to launch. Woo. Here we go in three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> fail. Let's try that one more time. In three, two, one. Oh, oh yeah. Like okay, so that was a total success, although it didn't have the super power that we wanted, so we're gonna do a little bit of modification. Unfortunately, that means we're gonna have to do it tomorrow when there's daylight out, but oh wait, for you guys, it's gonna be in three, two, one. Here is our projectile. It is that same clear thing we used earlier, but I filled it with three heavy rocks. Oh my gosh, Carter. So this thing has got some mass to fly. Let's load it up. All right, this might go far. Use load it in good. Use, use the, the ramrod. Ram oh, we're ready to go. Start the air compressor up. Now we just gotta pressurize our chamber. Over 100 PSI. Yikes! 120 PSI. Let's launch this thing. I'm nervous, Steve. I'm pretty nervous too, Carter. Let's do this. We ready? Let's do it. In three, two, two one. one. Uh-oh. Yikes. Something's not happening. Okay, ready? Take two. And three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Nice! Woo! The, rips, the rocks completely ripped out of the thing. All right, it landed all the way out here. Oh yeah, the rocks are completely gone. The rocks are completely gone. Carter's pumping the Nerf air cannon back up. He's gonna try to shoot me with it with no bullets in it, just air. Just so I can see how strong the air is. Hopefully it's pretty strong. All right, Carter, test it. In three, two, one. Oh! 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 Did that blast you? Ow! Woo. So the Nerf cannon worked, but it wasn't powerful enough. So we're gonna have to make a giant Nerf air cannon 2.0 and make it much, much bigger. If you guys have any ideas, any suggestions on how we can improve this, let us know. Hashtag Nerf and then comment below. All right guys, until next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and share, share the, the love. love. Woo, peace. peace.